In this clip, Uncle Bob speaks on the problem with manual testing and why developers should strive to automate as much as possible. Every test in the system should be automated. Every QA test should be automated. If a computer can do it, a computer should do it. If the manual test, if you've got a batch of manual tests, I expect them to be automated. Because Look, we're programmers. That's what we do. We automate stuff. And you say, well, it'd be very expensive to automate the test. No, it's expensive to run the test. You see this picture here? The hands there are the hands of the QA manager. The year is 2008. He's holding out to me the table of contents. for his manual test plan. He has 80,000 manual tests that he must run once every six months. He sends it off to an army of testers in India. It costs him a million dollars every six months to run that suite of QA tests. He's holding it out to me because the year is 2008. The financial crisis has become. His boss has just come back from the CFO's office telling him that his budget is being cut by 50%. He's holding this out to me, asking me which half of these tests he shouldn't run. I told him, you can cut the document this way or that way. You're not going to know if half your system works. This is the inevitable result of manual testing. Manual testing always leads to losing the tests. You will either, lo either lose them this way, the big, big glaring way, when some accountant finally says this is too damned expensive, or you will lose them in a much more insidious way. And the insidious way is this. The QA group doesn't have enough time to finish their tests because the developers are late. And the QA group now has to figure out which tests to run. The QA group has to decide which tests to run to cover the changes. So they look at the changes that were made and then they make a guess about which tests they ought to run. They do an impact analysis and they discard the rest of the tests. If the programmers knew they were doing that, the programmers would tap them on the shoulder and say, um, you really need to run all the tests because you know, we changed virtually every line of code in the system. One way or another, if you're doing manual tests, you will lose those tests. On the rise of Superman, Stephen Kotler speaks on immediate feedback and how it's the most important flow state triggers, the state in which we feel our best and perform our best. Manual testing, whether done by QA team or the developer, can disrupt the developer's flow state, significantly reducing productivity. By the time test results are received, the mental context has often shifted, making it harder to efficiently develop new features or fix bugs. Automated testing, especially if the tests are designed to run quickly, can not only keep the developer in the zone, but also lead them to it. Here's a short clip on immediate feedback as a flow trigger by Stephen Kotler. Oh, the flow and other flow triggers immediate feedback, mm -hmm. right? This is another reason action sports are so great. You get immediate mm -hmm. feedback, right? You either set the ski edge on top of the coir or you're on a, like a face for a death slide to the bottom, mm -hmm. right? In tennis, you hit the ball, it either goes in or goes out. That's immediate feedback. So immediate feedback is great for flow. Just by the way, to put this in a work context, this is, so if anybody works in software, the agile movement in software is about the same thing. The agile movement in software was a product development idea, which was, so that it used to be email, right? Old email program, you go back to the nineties, you buy a new email program, it was like 200 features. It was super mm -hmm. clunky and mm -hmm. thick and there was, did everything. And then Gmail comes along and they're like, no, 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 we've got an agile process. We're gonna introduce it with four features. And then we're gonna do these fast development loops. We're gonna put it out with four features. We're gonna talk to our customers, figure out exactly what they like, mm -hmm. didn't like, what else they want. And then we're gonna build 2.0 and 3.0 and right. So that's fast feedback. Agile was introduced on the consumer side because it gives you faster development cycles. Mm. On the developer side, it gives you immediate feedback and flow follows focus. And when feedback is immediate, you don't have to wonder how you're doing. You know, you've got the answer right there. Somebody gave it to you, or the, right? Thoughts? Subscribe for more.